All right, so here's my fish on a serving plate. I'm going to pour it, pour the sauce over. And we can actually garnish it with some uh, fresh coriander on top. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Um, today, Appa actually got a very fresh black prawn fruit here. Uh, to be honest, the uh, seller actually told me that this black prawn fruit is so fresh until you can even go and steam it rather than what we normally will do with black prawn fruit which is to fry it or pan fry. Uh, I, I don't dare to do that but I, I tried one of another same batch of prawn fruit. It is indeed very fresh. But today I'm still going to pan fry because I, 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 I actually quite like the flavour of black prawn fruit which is after pan fry. Okay? Uh, so we're still going to pan fry. Make a few slits on the body of the fish and uh, we will later we will marinate with a little bit of salt. Then after that, I'm going to make a sauce here. Uh, I'm going to make a tau, tau chi sauce, yeah? uh, which is one teaspoon, one tablespoon of tau chi means uh, one, one teaspoon of uh, tau chu. Tau chi is actually the salted black bean. Yeah? Salted black bean means why you want to mince it because it, it, it will get the flavor out easily. It will release the flavor out easier. easier. And we have some tau chu, which is uh, fermented soya bean, right? Uh, also minced and some red chili, uh, minced garlic, and also ginger slices. So we're going to fry the fish and then make the sauce. Right, so first of all, prepare some oil here and you want to uh, heat up the oil until it is it's a smoking point, which is when you start seeing smoke coming up from the oil. While waiting for the uh, oil to heat up, you can uh, marinate the fish with a bit of fine salt. And don't forget, you can you should actually use a kitchen towel to wipe dry your fish so that it doesn't contain excessive water, uh, so that it will not get splatter oil splattering too easily later. Now I must confess the oil I used today is actually a recycled oil which I think I fried something else about two days ago. It looks very clear, right? So this is what I normally do if I use quite a bit of oil to uh, fry some, deep fry something and if it is still very clear, then I will just sieve it and uh, put it into a stainless steel container and I will use it one last round. If it's dirty already, then I will just use once. Yeah. One thing to take note though, it is if you are using a, a recycled oil that to deep fry, then the second round when you use it, whatever you deep fry may not come out as good. Yeah, because the tolerance of the frying level is already a little bit lesser when you use it twice. Alright, I started to see some smoke. Now we can use a long spatula to put in the fish. First rule after you put in the fish into the hot oil is don't touch it, don't try to flip it. Uh, let it stay for about a minute or two before we continue. We'll come back shortly. Right, this is after the first two minutes on the one side, yeah. Now we can actually push the fish to the side of edge of the wall and flip it. Right. See? The skin is intact, it doesn't stick at the bottom of the wok, even though I'm using a stainless steel wok, which is super, super easy to stick, yeah? See how beautiful it is. Now again, the step two, now, next step is to leave it for another about one to two minutes, then only we flip. Same logic, we want to let it stay, let, it, let, um, let the uh, thin crust actually form uh, at the bottom, then only we flip it over. Right, this is after another two minutes on the second side. Look at how beautiful it is. Now I'm going to slowly push the fish over to the edge of the wall and flip it again. See? See how beautiful it is? Pen frying fish is not difficult at all. Yeah? I know many people keep on telling me about I'm still very afraid of uh, pan frying or deep frying fish. Actually, like what I'm doing right now, I am doing uh, what Chinese call pan jian zha, which is semi deep fry and pan fry. <laughs> so I'm using quite a lot of oil here, but it's not 
it's not enough to really consider it to be deep fried, yeah? So it is actually semi. So I'll give that side, it's about 30, 40 seconds, and then turn around one last round. This is just to get the color I wanted. Look at how beautiful it is. Give this side another about 20, 30 seconds, and it is done. And take note, at this moment of time, right before you want to take out the fish, you cannot reduce the heat. If you reduce the heat right now, the fish will start absorbing, start absorbing the oil, yeah? So it's basically done. Oops. All right, put it to the side. Allow it to, uh, the oil to render out. Now we can off the fire and put it on top of the oil absorbing paper, like this. All right, let's go and make the sauce. Right, so we are going to make, in, make the sauce now. Put a two, three tablespoon of oil there inside the wok. And we shall saute all this that we prepared just now. The salted black bean, fermented soya bean, chili, ginger, and also garlic. Now, whenever you are using salted black bean or the Taochu, yeah, or the so fermented soya bean, any, any of these fermented products, you really need to saute it first because they will always come with some earthy smell. So you only can remove this earthy smell by sauteing it with some oil. Mmm, now it's really super fragrant. I really wish you can smell this. Ooh, so fragrant. You don't really have to brown anything right here, just to saute it for about one minute is good enough. Next thing we can actually add in some water. Now of course I'm going to turn this water into chicken stock. How? By adding about one teaspoon of my cooking apa chicken stock powder, where you can get it from Shopping Malaysia or Singapore for those who are interested. It's 100% natural. Look something like this. All right. Not interested? Never mind. Don't worry about it. Then I'm going to give you a little bit of light soy sauce. Some sugar. Wow. Now you can choose to starch or not starch it. Uh, Appa is not a starch person, so I'm not going to starch it. But you can if you want. If you want to. Basically, our um, Tao Chi sauce is ready. Salted black bean sauce is ready. And I always call this salted black bean a uh, grema flavor. Seriously, very classic flavor. Our sauce is ready. I'm going to off the fire. All right, so here's my fish on a serving plate. I'm going to pour it pour the sauce over and we can actually garnish it with some uh, fresh coriander on top and it is done that's how simple it is right a fish with a lot of um, a dish with a lot of grandma's flavor yeah if you like my video do share my video on facebook to your friends come to cooking up our face fan page to click like and follow button follow up on instagram and subscribe to cooking up our youtube channel Thank you very much. Bye-bye.